Let's go. Welcome to the Sebring Race Preview with Mirko and Ben. Hi everyone, uh, it's Mirko and uh, Ben doing this uh, preview for the first round of, uh, of the championship. Um, hi to all Prema followers and fans. And uh, yeah, let's talk a little bit about the start of the season, Ben. Looking yeah. forward to Sebring? Thank you very much for the introduction. Exactly, we are looking very much forward to Sebring. It will be my first time on track, but I've heard you are very experienced on that track. So uh, can you tell me some more about Sebring? Yeah, well, I, I know the track uh, a little bit. I've done some races there in the last few years so it's for me one of the best tracks uh, in the world mm. maybe not um, the layout itself but just the, the you know the, the atmosphere the, bumps, the feeling know? the bumps obviously yeah. respect yeah. the bumps as, as you all know it's it's really bumpy uh, you will not imagine how bump, bumpy it is especially i think in the prototype it would be even more than uh, what i was used to in the gt even though in the gt it was already uh, quite oh, bumpy and uh, yeah, it's an old school American track, you know, um, no track limit uh, going on. If you do a track limit, you're in trouble. So it's really a proper track, even though it's, uh, it's quite old and they are talking about resurfacing it. I hope it will never happen. It always stays like that. Nice, nice, nice. So, uh, you know, very exciting as we can hear. How is, uh, how is stuff next to the track? Is there good food, etc.? Or you need to be careful for the crocodiles? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the gators, how they call them are quite popular in that area. So there are actually also some restaurants that uh, have this as a theme and uh, you can actually have uh, uh, crocodile meat as well there. I, I tried it once. It's, um, it? uh, it's a bit weird, but uh, you get used to it. So it wasn't that bad. For the Italian cuisine, it's not the thing you want? No, no. no it's no, not my no, kind of no food. Pasta crocodile for you next time? <laughs> no, no, no. But you can try. You okay. can let me know how it is. I'm, I'm very good at making pasta, it turns out. So. <laughs> Mirko, what was your best result in Sebring? Well, best result, actually, I managed to win the 12 hour Sebring in 2019. Mm. So that was for sure the best result. Last year, we finished second. So, actually, really good memories from my side there in the, in the, in the 12 hour race. I've mm. never raced in WEC, that's yeah. the, the, the race we will do. Yeah. So, I'm really looking forward to, to WEC this year in the prototype with multi class. So, it will be exciting. Yeah, traffic management will be key. Uh, as you said, track limits are not a thing. If you go off, you go off. So, uh, quite exciting stuff. Let's hope it's not going to be wet. If what? it's wet in Sebring, it's really, really uh, worst case scenario, let's say. Because the surface, especially, it's changing from, uh, from corner to corner and on the straight. For example, the main straight, there's a really weird uh, surface. It's not, there's no drainage or how you say, like the, the water really stays there. Mm. And, uh, there are some really crazy um, videos also from the past. I remember I had one stint in the wet. It was the worst stint of my life. So I hope it's going to be wet. I mean, it, it can be fun, but it can also be game over really quickly. So I hope for, that, for everyone it's not going to be wet. Um, but for the rest, it's going to be, yeah, as I said, one of my favorite tracks. So I'm really sure you're going to enjoy it. I hope so. It will be my first time in America as well. So uh, looking forward to that. I think there was a red flag last year in the WEC because of the thunderstorm. So uh, I've heard it's quite famous over there to uh, red flag it with the thunderstorm. Well, if, if there's a thunderstorm or even a bit more than light rain, there is a big chance that they red flag it because, as I said, track conditions will be more, more or less uh, undrivable. I, I remember the thunderstorm. I didn't watch the race because I was having dinner. Um, but uh, yeah, if, if, if the, the weather is bad, it's going to be probably no race. So, in any case, it's going to be exciting. If it rains, it's going to be exciting. If it's dry, it's going to be exciting. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. Yes. The, the best thing to do for me is there in the area probably to go to Orlando to see the Universal Studios and these kind of things. The Disneyland thing. Or? Yes, uh, that's, that's really good. How really is Miami? You've been to Miami? I've been to Miami as well. Um, also, good to be there, but I never have really the time to, to really stay there for, for, for a vacation. But uh, it's a good place. Hmm. I like America. I think I will extend the stay a bit, maybe two days, uh, as long as I don't get eaten by uh, crocodiles, as I just uh, heard. Then uh, Watch out. I will be, I will be alright. Of course, Mirko scared me off quite a bit, but uh, yeah, I will uh, be, I, I will be prepared. 
Yeah, okay, what I'm so really looking forward is the, the atmosphere in America is always great. Um, you know, the fans are really close to, um, to the drivers. They can join the paddock. They can be really, you know, um, having a, a conversation with the drivers, with the team, see the cars, almost touch them. So it's really cool the, the, the way of, uh, of our IMSA, IMSA and, and obviously uh, WEC racing at Sebring handles, um, handles the fans. And um, yeah, the, the American way of, uh, of motorsport is, is really... It's really cool and always enjoyable from the driver's perspective. So really looking forward to be back. Thank you guys for watching. See you on track. See you.